Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Today we're taking a close look at Garuda Linux Broadwing, an Arch-based distro that's turning heads in the Linux community. Let's dive in and see what makes this release so special. For those new to Garuda, it's a rolling release distribution based on Arch Linux. It aims to combine Arch's power with a more user-friendly experience. Unlike vanilla Arch, Garuda comes with a graphical installer, making the setup process much more approachable. The Broadwing release, which kicked off in 2025, brings several notable improvements. It's running on the latest Linux kernel, 6.13 Zen, focusing on responsiveness and performance. A standout feature is Garuda Rani, a new application that consolidates several Garuda tools into one central hub. This includes welcome, gamer, and assistant functionalities, streamlining system management, and customization. Garuda continues to offer a wide range of desktop environments, catering to various preferences, whether you're a fan of Cinnamon, KDE, GNOME, XFCE, or tiling window managers like Hyperland, i3, or Sway, there's a flavor for you. Now let's talk about the Mocha Edition, which generates quite a buzz. This is a KDE Plasma experience themed with Katpuchin, offering a visually cohesive and aesthetically pleasing environment. The color palette is vibrant yet harmonious, creating a unique desktop experience. The Garuda team has extended this visual refresh to their online presence. The website and forum now feature Katpuchin Mocha and Latte themes, creating a consistent brand identity across all platforms. Beyond aesthetics, Broadwing brings several under-the-hood improvements. These include updates to Chaotic AUR, enhancements to the dr 4 nized edition, refinements to the Hyperland edition, bug fixes for the i3 edition, and optimizations for the Sway edition. I recommend checking the official release notes for a comprehensive list of changes. It's worth noting that Garuda Linux has slightly higher system requirements than some other distributions. You'll need at least 30 GB of storage, 4 GB of RAM, and a video card supporting OpenGL 3.3 or higher. In my testing, I found the focus on visual design and inclusion of the Zen kernel to be particularly impressive. While the default color scheme might be a bit bold for some users, the Mocha Edition offers a refined alternative. Overall, Garuda Linux Broadwing is a unique and polished distribution in the Linux ecosystem. That wraps up our look at Garuda Linux Broadwing. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Does this release set a new standard for Linux aesthetics? Share your opinions in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing for more in-depth Linux content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.